Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about restricting SSH or rsync over SSH on a Synology NAS to one IP address. So if you don't have uh, rsync or your terminal available, you can go and to the control panel. And if you're in basic mode, you need to click on advanced mode, click down on terminal and SNMP and enable SSH service. Similarly, if you want to enable rsync, you want to go into file services and then click on rsync and then click enable rsync service and it says ssh encryption port is 22. so i'm going to talk about setting up this on 22 but if you change this port to something else then you need to just change it in your settings so if i open up a terminal i can ssh into my uh, synology nas so i'm in the nas now if i type who it's going to list everyone that's logged in and unless you're in a big office with lots of people logging in with SSH, it should just be you. So I can see that my IP address here is 192.168.7.190. So if I go into the control panel, I'll click on security, and I'll click on firewall, and then I'll click enable firewall, and I just have it as default, and I'll click edit rules. And one thing to note when you're messing with firewalls is if you do it wrong, you could potentially lock yourself out. So be careful with what you're doing here. So I have two rules set up here. The first one says allow uh, port 22 for IP address 192.168.7.190, and that's the one we saw on the command line. And the second rule says deny everyone else. So I'll click on these and I'll click edit. So on the first one, I have custom, I have destination port, TCP, port 22. I'll hit OK there. And then I have specific IP, and I just have my IP address in here under single host. And then I have action allow. On the second rule, I have the same thing, destination port TCP 22. I have source IP is all, and then action deny. So this is saying allow uh, 192.168.7.190 to allow access to port 22 or SSH and deny it to everyone else. I'll hit okay here. I'll go back to my terminal and I will type in my password and I'm in. So let's go back to the firewall here. So this would work with the source IP. This could be a public IP address too. So if the SSH device I was on was across the internet and I had SSH port forwarded through my router to my Synology NAS, this would still restrict it based on the IP address. It'd be whatever the public IP address is of the remote host. So that's why I like to SSH in. I mean, I like to get SSH working without any firewall wall rules. And when you type who you can see what IP address is being recognized by the remote server, and then you can use that in your firewall rules. So when you set this up, it's a good idea to set it up like I'm doing here, where I'm SSHing in from my computer on my network, and then put the remote IP address in later, so you can do all your testing before. Okay, so now we can test it. We'll cl click on Edit Rules, we'll click on the first part, we'll hit Specific IP, and we'll just change this to 191 at the end. So this is not my IP address now. Hit OK here. Okay, I'll hit apply. Okay, so now I'll go and try to log in, and now it's blocking me because my IP address is not in the firewall. So I'll hit Control C to cancel that. I'll go back, change this, edit 190. And now it's allowing us in. So like I said, it's probably best to set this up on your local network first, and then you can go in here and add in the remote IP. So the case for this would be if you are doing some syncing a, a remote server to your local server over the internet and it's on SSH and you want to um, restrict it to one IP address. So. That's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.